Thank you for checking out this video guys and in this particular video I'm going to be covering some of the main differences between some of the latest wireless streaming technologies um, and a brand new product that has been designed to universalize all of them. Now wireless streaming technology is a trend that has been growing for years and it's probably most recognizable form is uh, Apple AirPlay. So AirPlay is basically Apple's developed software to enable you to stream content from one of your Apple devices to another. Uh, so you can stream something from an iPad or an iPhone to an Apple TV uh, if you have like a home theater setup or something like that. Another wireless streaming technology that has been around for quite some time is uh, Intel Wi-Di or wireless display. That's what it stands for. So basically um, this has been developed to basically do the same thing but for Intel based products. But if you think that for one second that AMD wouldn't compete with Intel in every possible aspect of the technology market then you're wrong because AMD and then their cleverly named wireless display um, has been specifically designed to fight Intel in this wireless streaming battle. Now the problem with Intel's first release of Wi-Di is that it had way too much latency and it was totally unsuitable for high quality video streaming such as gaming on a big screen. Intel's newer revisions of Wi-Di have addressed this problem and, uh, and they've seen much of an improvement margin. But furthermore, you cannot stream anything from a tablet or a device unless the tablet or device is powered by Intel, which right now is basically not an option. Another hardware-based limitation of Intel Wi-Di would be that you also need a Wi-Di capable receiver box next to your TV, or you need a Wi-Di capable actual TV or audio receiver in the case of a home theater or something like that. Um, now we see more and more products that are coming out with Wi-Di compatibility right out of the box, and it's cool to see things picking up on that, um, because that definitely helps for streaming games and stuff on the big screen. Now AMD's wireless display solution has been specifically designed for low latency streaming. So this accommodates all kinds of high quality media streaming such as gaming or HD content and stuff. But its limitations are a lot like Intel's um, in that they need you need a wireless display capable box or wireless display capable um, whether it's a TV or audio, audio receiver for a home theater setup or something like that. Um, the problem is that AMD is even farther than Intel for making its footprint in the mobile world. So you're not going to see wireless display supporting on tablets or phones anytime soon at all. Now Apple AirPlay's limitations are hardware and software limited, um, such as that you need an Apple device running Apple software to get it to work at all. So for instance, if I wanted to stream content from my Android phone up to the Apple TV connected to the, a TV or a projector or something, that's impossible because the Android device is not an iPhone. So what can someone do if they want every device in the house to be able to stream to one screen? Say you have an AMD laptop, a Windows laptop, an iPhone, and an Android phone. Well, basically you're going to have to buy what is now developed Google Chromecast. And it's a little $35 device that plugs right into the back of the HDMI port of, say, an audio receiver in the case of a home theater, or a TV on uh, the back of the HDMI port. And basically it's been designed to dissolve almost all the limitations of the previous three uh, technologies that have explained earlier. Now here's where we're going to see the benefit of being a software and internet related company whereas Google is not forcing users to pick a specific hardware to deal with one type of streaming or another. You don't need Intel hardware to use Chromecast, AMD hardware or an Android device or Apple hardware or anything. Um, streaming from a laptop is as easy as clicking one button in Google Chrome um, and then it shoots the display on Google Chrome right up to whatever the Chromecast is plugged into. Streaming from an Android device or an iOS device is as easy as clicking one button in either Netflix or Google Chrome or whatever the other supported apps are and it shoots it straight up. So there's more supported apps coming every day to the market as they're all being released to support Google Chromecast as it was only released a week ago but seeing all these things come out with this kind of compatibility is great because it's universalizing all of your devices and making it able to be streaming on one device. Now Google Chromecast is great for something like local media and, uh, and web browser streaming to a screen but what about your gaming needs? Sorry folks, you're going to need something like an Intel Wi-Di compatible device or an AMD wireless display compatible device in order to meet your gaming needs if you're going to stream things such as that onto the big screen. Um, Chromecast right now basically just supports your local media and things on your laptop or something um, and as much as web browser stuff like Google Chrome support so you can go to you know the YouTube website, the Netflix website, stuff like that. Um, so it definitely doesn't hurt to have something like Intel Wi-Di as a part of your ecosystem, your streaming ecosystem, because that just further extends how much you can actually stream and stuff. But um, my main choice for my streaming needs would be Google Chromecast, just because I would use 
I'd use it to pick off stuff from my laptop or from my phone and throw it right up to the screen from YouTube or whatever. With that being said, I want to hear what you guys think about the Google Chromecast technology in the comment section below. Thank you for checking out this video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more computer videos.